Taxes and additional revenues will be a part of Governor Mark Dayton's State of the State address that is going to happen tonight. He'll give his speech in just a couple of hours, and for the first time, he's going to be doing it in front of a House and Senate, both under Democratic control. ABC 6 News anchor James Wilcox is in our newsroom with more on what we can expect to hear tonight. James? Right now, Governor Dayton is preparing to deliver his third State of the State address before a joint session of the Minnesota Legislature. Aides tell us he'll focus largely on his recent state budget proposal, which includes ambitious changes to Minnesota's tax system. Dayton wants to use additional revenue from an upper income tax hike and expansion of state sales tax to help erase Minnesota's $1.1 billion budget deficit. He says his proposed changes will also pump new money into public schools and colleges, will expand medical assistance, and will allow select Minnesota zones to receive a $500 property tax rebate checks. Dayton's plan though is facing some criticism from state business owners and executives. In fact, this Wisconsin lawmaker, Republican Representative Eric Severson, has sent a letter to hundreds of Minnesota businesses, including 3M, Best Buy, and United Health Group, urging them to relocate to Wisconsin to avoid higher taxes in Minnesota. And we have learned Mayo Clinic CEO Dr. John Noseworthy has been invited to the Capitol to hear the governor's speech. However, the clinic's multi-billion dollar proposed destinational medical center expansion is not expected from what we know to be a part of the governor's address. Of course, we'll have a full recap coming up tonight on ABC 6 News at 10. Reporting in the newsroom, James Wilcox, ABC 6 News.